All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. Now, before I get into it, I do want to apologize for not uploading an actual Legends video today. I've been having technical issues with like my editing software, but I finally fixed it. And that's why I'm covering this information. So at least there's a video for you guys today. So again, I apologize, but we should be back on track starting tomorrow. But anyway, we do have information on Zenkai, well, LF Zenkai, you know, Trunks, the green unit. Because we've known that Zenkai has been coming for a little while now, but at least now we have more details apart from him just being, you know, able to boost green and hybrids. So anyway, the tweet says, LLSS Trunks Teens Zenkai Awakening. Draw ultimate arts up to two times with special arts. Combined with the main, Trunks can use ultimate arts up to three times. Unlock all uniques to nullify enemy key reduction and special cover changes for five counts when using arts. Okay. So, when it came down to this Trunks, when he released, because remember, even though, personally speaking, it doesn't feel like it, this unit is over two years old. Remember, he was a uh, fourth year anniversary unit. So, he's over two years old now. Uh, but when he released, he was good, but mainly because of the featured boost. Because the moment he got off the boost, he just could not survive. He didn't deal enough damage, and he couldn't take a hit. So... I'm hoping that first and foremost, when it comes down to this unit, they really improve his offenses and defenses because he really, really needs it. But putting that to the side, him being able to draw an extra ultimate now is definitely going to be helpful, especially if they all uh, nullify endurance, right? So that would put pressure against a lot of units. I would assume it could put pressure against, uh, for example, fusing Super Vegito, right? Like that's a, still a prevalent blue unit that's uh, being played right now. Uh, it can put pressure against uh, Ultra Turles because if it deals a lot of damage, it can activate his revival, uh, stuff like that, right? So it is good, right? But the one thing that they could have done better, and in all honesty, I really hope that this is something that they start doing from here on out because there's really no reason anymore to have it be this low, is nullifying cover change for only five timer counts. That is not enough time. That's not enough time because we have too many units now that are able to nullify for 10 counts, 15 counts, like uh, 30 counts. Like we, we have units that can nullify it for so long that Trunks only being able to nullify it for five counts really doesn't help. I mean, I guess it also depends on if it's like a repeatable thing. Like uh, maybe, for example, it's on strike arts, right? You land strike, you know, you get the five charmer counts of no uh, cover change, right? And then after that, you take him out. And then you bring it back in, and if you land another arts card, you know if I cover change, and that always happens, like it's not limited, then okay, sure, like a little bit. But um, if it's a timed thing, especially if it's timed, it should be 10 timer counts. There, there's no reason for it to be that low unless it's something that you're able to execute over and over and over again. But uh, if it's not, it it should have been 10 timer counts. It's There's no reason for it to be at 5 anymore. But uh, that's also not the only thing that I'm worried about, right? Because nullifying key reduction, fantastic, right? So any unit that comes through that's just going to cripple your key, you don't have to worry about that. Cool. I am... Okay, it's... Because it, it makes no sense to me, right? So we had part one of the Legends Festival happen a few days ago. And we got what we got... Uh, transforming Vegito Blue, Transforming Rosé. We got Cell and Frieza, which is still a really cool tag unit. And then we got my right it makes no sense that we're getting this unit that their zenkai boost green and hybrid that makes no sense to me now i'm not saying that there isn't a use for it like there absolutely is because uh the likes of ultra super saiyan 2 uh gohan he can take advantage of that he can absolutely take advantage of that right and also, in a sense, this unit, you can use him on future because his Z ability boosts future. So it's not as if it doesn't fully make sense, I guess, but it would have been so much more beneficial if this unit buffed green and future in this particular case, because we just got a new green future unit who's actually pretty freaking strong, being transforming Vegito Blue. So. If it was green in future, that would make a lot more sense because it would also flow 
with the current theme of part one of the Legends Festival for this year. So now, uh, granted, there have been lots of moments where Future have, you know, has kind of fell off and like, you know, you gotta use other teams with these units. And uh, in truth, I mean, I don't think in recent time, there's really been moments where hybrids have just been completely unusable. So, I mean, especially this year, because again, we had Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, we had uh, Ultimate Gohan release the LF unit. So I guess they have versatility. And again, at the, the worst case scenario is this unit would be a bench unit for, you know, Gohan, which is not bad, but still in this particular case, it would have been nice if it was green in future because part one of the Legends Festival is future themed entirely. So for him to kind of focus on boosting these new units would be good. I just don't understand why they're releasing this now though. You know, like the, the Zenkai makes sense. Don't get me wrong, the Zenkai makes sense, but for him not to fully pair up with future right now, doesn't really make sense. So I, I don't know. Because again, if you're using a green hybrid unit, you're gonna be using Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And I don't really see many people use him anymore because to be fair, that unit released early on in the year. We're literally at the end of the year now. So again, people do still use him, but not to the degree of when he first released. If we had this Zenkai around that time frame, completely different story. But it, it feels like it's too little too late because he's a future unit that's also a hybrid that's releasing during a future like you know event right now but it's boosting hybrid i i don't i don't get it it just it, it doesn't correlate at all it makes no sense but at the very least what i will say though is putting the zenkai ability aside he is still a green future unit so of course you can still throw him on future and if you don't have transforming vegeto blue then something tell me that you can probably use this unit especially if they do fix his flaws uh, that I mentioned earlier, but um, if they don't, and he's kind of mediocre, then it would be it would it would feel like the Zenkai made no sense, and then just I I just really hope it doesn't come down to that. I really really hope it doesn't come down to that. I'm hoping that he's a good alternative for future if you don't have transforming uh, Vegito Blue, right? Because then at least you would have a usable green unit. If not. Well, at least he's a Zenkai boost for Gohan. It's, it, I really hope it doesn't come down to that. Like, I really, really do want this unit to be good. And like I said, being able to uh, get three ultimate attacks should help, but we'll have to see. But all in all, though, this Trunks is getting a Zenkai. We've known about this because of the reveals and stuff, but we finally have details on what he's capable of doing now. But I do want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Edukuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.